Welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage, a restoration blog. You know, the first rule of restoring something is don't start a new project until your old project is finished. Well, that, that doesn't apply. We're still waiting on the, uh, the Maserati, still waiting to be done. The Fraser Nash, we're still waiting on some parts. <clears throat> the Merlin, of course, needs a bit of work. And, of course, Jim is working on the Lotus. But I found this in upstate New York. This is a Daimler Dart, or an SP250, as it's called here. They couldn't call it the Dart in America because Dodge owned that name. Uh, very unusual English sports car. This is a one owner car. It sat outside for the longest time. Well, here, here's some pictures of it uh, when I first saw it. As you can see, the engine compartment's pretty rough, but it's all there. It's a fiberglass car, so it doesn't rust. In fact, the police actually used these as police cars for a while, which is kind of cool in England because they were the fastest things out there. It's got a Hemi engine in it. 2.5 liter Hemi engine. Here it is right here, Daimler motor. I believe this was designed by Edward Turner, you know, the famous Triumph guy. And uh, these are fantastic cars. They put this little V8 in the Jags too. And this was as fast as an XK120 or any of those cars. Unusual looking car, unusual styling with the fins and all this uh, fiberglass work. As you can see, the interior, the leather's all dried and cracked, but that can be fixed. It's all there. The gauges, surprisingly, look at the gauges. Uh, the gauges look good. Probably need to be cleaned up mechanically, but the faces are all nice. It's a big project, well, not a giant project. But as I said, it's one owner, and I got it from the, the original family, and it had been left outside for, I don't know, 25 years, something like that. But it doesn't appear to have ever been hit or been in an accident. You know, it's the kind of car, if you're not an enthusiast, it looks like the biggest piece of junk and get it out of here. <clears throat> but if you're someone who likes obscure, interesting English sports cars, it's a real find because it's all there. Plus, it's got a hard top. The hard top was hard to find. That was a hard thing to do. I mean, all this can be fixed, uh, and it will be fixed. And uh, we'll keep you apprised of the restoration as it, uh, as it goes along. So. Watch this space.